Okay, we're going to figure out the inverse Laplace transform of the inverse tangent of 1 over s. And this is one of the famous questions in differential equation, Laplace transform and inverse Laplace transform. And the way that we're going to deal with this is that I cannot deal with the inverse tangent as how it is. I know its derivative version much better for this right here, all right? And here is the theorem statement that we came up with in the previous video. So if you want to go through the whole detail, watch the video. And this is what I'm going to use, right? And I'll tell you guys what this is all about. Let me write this down again. We still have the inverse Laplace transform. And then let me copy that again. The inverse tangent of 1 over s like this. Once again, I don't know how to do the inverse Laplace of inverse tangent too well. But if I differentiate the inverse tangent, I will get a rational function, right? 1 over 1 plus whatever. So I will go ahead and differentiate this with respect to s. OK? And that's what this is all about. I'm going to differentiate the inside with respect to s. But in that case, be sure you do negative 1 over t in the front. So right here, I'm going to multiply this by negative 1 over t like that in the front. And that's the deal. Right? And you see, I must have the negative 1 over t in the front once I differentiate the inside. So this is how it works. And let me just write this down. We have the negative 1 over t as how it is for now. We have the inverse Laplace transform. And now, of course, we have to differentiate that, right? So now let me do that for you guys right here on the side. So if you see d ds of inverse tangent, and let me write down 1 over s, completely in red like this, all right? That should be a parenthesis, like that. OK, inverse tangent, the derivative of that is going to be 1 over 1 plus whatever this is, and you square that. So we have 1 over s, and then you square that, right? And by the chain rule, we multiply this by the derivative of this. And the derivative of 1 over s is negative 1 over s squared, like that. OK, let me just write my s better. Right? And now, as you can see, this is going to be 1 over 1 plus 1 squared, which is 1, over s squared, like this, like that. And then times negative 1 over s squared. And then you can just go ahead and distribute, distribute, because they are both on the bottom. On the top, altogether, we end up with negative 1. On the, on the top, I mean, you get negative 1. On the bottom, you get s squared times 1, which is s squared, plus s squared times this is just plus 1. And this is the result. In another word, the inside here will end up with negative 1 over s squared plus 1, like that. OK. First of all, negative, negative becomes positive. So let me emphasize that it is just positive 1 over t now. So let me just see negative, negative becomes positive, all right? And then we have the inverse tangent of 1 over s square plus 1 square, like that. Why 1 square? You know this is going to be sine of 1. And you see on the top, it's 1 and 1 already. Sign of 1t, I mean. Anyway, here is 1 over t times this is going to be sine of 1t. So just t. Of course, we can put a sine t on the top over t. So cool, isn't it? That's it.